She's made McGrath. She took a tumble outside her home. She's got a pre-tibial laceration, no other injuries. She's just been 15 for her. BP's 140 over 80. She's a little bit tacky at 102. Anyone with her? Uh, the knee back. She fell outside my flat. And how did she fall? Uh, I was on my way out and found her lying on the path. I don't think she knows what happened, do you, Princess? My legs just went. We're in here. Okay, here, yeah? Hi. Run, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's different. Right, my love. Uh, I'm afraid you're going to be waiting a little bit. You've joined us on a particularly busy night. I'm so sorry. What are you sorry for? You'd be able to work if people didn't fall over every now and again. Huh? Okay, I'm just going to take some blood from you so I can check your sugar levels. Oh, sorry. And then when we've got you a cubicle, we can make you a bit more comfortable, okay? I barely recognised you, especially with the uh, accessories. Oh. We two know each other. Kind of. You saved my life. Oh, it was a tension pneumothorax. It was nothing. It gave me a second chance. Good. I'm, I'm glad. Do you think he could manage a cup of tea? <laughs> yeah, I could probably manage that. No, I'll get it. You're way too important for that. <clears throat> when did you last eat? I get very forgetful. I haven't seen her in weeks. I don't go out, not now. And what made you go out tonight, in your nighty? She, she usually has uh, carers putting her to bed. Did they come this evening? Questions, questions. My old legs gave way, that's all. Please, could you just take me home? I, I, I know, I know how overwhelming it feels, but believe me, they only want what's best, okay? Trust them. I've wondered how you were. Really? But you see so many patients. Well, it's not like I get holed up with gay asylum seekers every day of the week, is it? I, I have refugee status now. Great. I wanted, uh, I wanted to come back and thank you, but I didn't know if I should. You help people all the time. Well, it's, it's good to see you now. So how's it going with Terry? Oh, it didn't work out. That's sort of why I've, um, I've jumped at a new start. I move to Australia next week. Oh, to do what? An engineering contract on a new development. It feels like I'm finally living the life that I was meant to live. Well, I'm really happy for you. Anyway, I should get back to work, so... I, I don't know if you, um... Maybe, maybe you're not allowed nurse patient rules or whatever. What? Do you fancy a drink? I'll be ours, yeah? I can wait. Won't you be knackered? It's my last weekend in England. Who needs sleep? Ah. Robin, you won't believe who's just been there. Uh, the Wilderner uncle? No, or Armin. The asylum seeker? Yeah, and, and he looks great. Oh, yeah. It's not just that, it's just, he's so lovely. And did you get his number? He asked me out. Amazing. Well, I think he did, but he's just disappeared, so... Oh, he knows where you are. He'll come back, right? Well, maybe he's changed his mind. I mean, he's moving abroad next week. Well, if he's keen, then he'll come back. If not, well, then there's no future in it and nothing's lost, right? Yeah, well, even if we just get the weekend, I don't care. Anyway, if you see him, keep him here, all right? Promise me. OK. Anything happens, call me. I can't believe you don't want a fry up. I'm not really in the room, either. Yeah, bye. Oh. Wow. Hey. What are you study if I go? Chauffeur, eh? Home, James. When did you get this? I hired it for the weekend. Come on. Get in. It's the middle of winter. So? Live a little. 